denial of the wrongs Those sweet moments blind us But we're always on our phones Hope for answers mm -hmm. It's impossible to know How the words have shaped this And it's laughable to hope That the past could save us Sometimes love just comes in seasons But you never thought I'd earn your trust But you got feelings And I never thought that you would run But you had reasons Of her life, oh, it casts a shadow in a requiem of light. Oh, it cleans the halo in a burst of sudden tears, shows my fears. Play. Loved me deep, healed me, held me, and knew my needs. But sometimes love just comes in seasons. But you never thought I'd earn your trust, but you got feelings. And I never thought that you would. Once upon a time, there was a woman in my life who left a beautiful mark on me, unforgettable, irreplaceable. A mark that broke me and then woke me. My friend told me years ago, Jeremy, you either have reasons in life or you have results. <laughs> and when it comes to relationships, we're oftentimes caught in this small, but really intense hurricane of reasons of why someone is or isn't the right one for us. It's like this grand swirl of attraction and chance and fate, dancing around without any answers only spinning off more questions the deeper you dive into the soul of this new love. It's like a rare bird or a new blossom. And of 
course with time's inevitable seasons, we slowly discover reasons which start to change the air and the tide of that blooming relationship. And the petals of this tender trust gently fall from what was once a proud, towering, light-drinking blossom. And then, a portrait of just a stem standing there. These two lovers, with petals on the ground, became lessons for each other. But all is not lost. Call it a grand hope, but the hope is that every lover leaves a mark, a beautiful mark, a good mark. A mark that when reflected upon, when the season has come to an end, a mark that leaves us clearer and wiser, stronger, better, softer, bolder. And sometimes the pain of losing that tenderness is what opens up a brand new door for discovering the self. And it's oftentimes the reflection of our self in our lover's eyes and their actions and their emotions that lets us see who we really are. And so we learn to be more rooted, to be more grounded next time. To next time stop projecting our self-hatred and our self-judgment onto the ones whose hands are just simply out, arms wide, wanting to love us and accept us and hold us. To let go of the secrets, to allow for this completely and scary vulnerable opening to fill up every last crack that questions if we're truly worthy of real love. So that next time, we more generously show the parts that we were too scared to show for fear of being judged or rejected. So the next time, we let them see the ways in which we bleed, to let her see the young boy who still longs, to let her sprinkle her love over your soul and feel the empty spaces that you didn't even know were there that only she can see. To let your heart break beautifully and then to breathe that cherished, rare breath deeply in. We were lovers who became lessons for each other. But in the losing of you, I found me, at least more of me, a trade-off I didn't know I was making. But now, when I catch your reflection, all I see is your beautiful, unforgettable mark that was left on me. You healed me. You held me. You knew my needs. And sometimes, love just comes in seasons.